Hey, it's Kathy, and welcome to my channel. And actually, Happy New Year. So today I'm gonna to be talking you through my winter coat collection. I do own a large number of trenches, other like lightweight denim coats, leather coats, things like that. But today I'm gonna to focus on the heavier pieces that I wear in Chicago and anywhere else during the winter. So, all right, let's go. So first is this All Saints Moto Biker Coat. Uh, so I'm in love with this coat. I actually had purchased a knockoff version that had a faux black shearling. Um, and I, I think I wore it for like a year. I wore it to the ground and I decided it was time for me to splurge on, uh, you know, a more expensive version of this coat, which I love. I love that it's a little bit longer than um, the usual crop length of, a most, of most leather coats. Uh, it's very luxurious, very heavyweight, but I've also worn it to cooler places like when I go home to Arizona for Thanksgiving, I've worn it also. It layers well. It looks like a million bucks. My only downside to the coat is that this white part tends to, it can, I can get makeup on it, so I do always wear it with um, a scarf. It looks best with, I think, everything. I'm wearing it with some tights but I've even worn this with a dress. I find that it kind of makes everything look a little bit tougher or edgier. And so if I'm wearing something feminine, I want it to kind of bring it up a little bit, make it a little bit more masculine, I will wear this. So, love it. So next up is one of two of Paris Sophie Vaufer coats that I own. Um, I love this coat because it almost acts like a white coat for me. I don't own any white coats, but this is like the closest thing to a white coat that I own. So I treat it like a white neutral coat. It's It goes with a lot of things. I'm wearing it, I tend to, it sheds, so I wear it with something underneath because it, it will shed almost like a white coat. Um, but like I said, anything you wear a white coat, wear this with it. Um, it looks good with long silhouettes, you know, tights as I'm wearing, jeans. Um, I tend, it's a little bit more girly, so I will wear it with things that are much more feminine versus things that are a little bit more edgy. I would go for a, a different coat. But like I said, it feels like a real, a real fur coat, which I really appreciate because I like things that are, that feel good to my touch. So this is the red version of the pink of Paris coat. Um, the style is Sophie, as I said. I love the mid-length look. Um, I used to work with brands and I got a really good discount, so I think that's why I've ended up buying two. I tend to not buy multiples, but I felt like these coats do different things. This is a statement-making coat. I could have the most grungiest clothes on underneath this, but with this coat, I just look luxurious. This is definitely making a statement without saying a word. Um, it. I tend to wear it with things that are a little bit more subdued, where with the pink version, I could wear something a little bit more brighter. Um, it, it plays better with colors. This one plays with certain colors, but not all colors because it's an attention whore. So, like I said, good length, but definitely just a different feel than the dusty pink, light pink version. All right, so next up I have a Kubel's faux fur leopard print coat. I'm a leopard fan. I feel like leopard is uh, leopard print is a really good neutral and it's uh, it's very much in my closet. The thing I loved about this coat was it has like little cowlicks and the cowlicks make it look like it's real fur to me. It's not super heavyweight. I do feel like the Paris coats are thicker, but it's just it's a gorgeous coat. I definitely can layer underneath it. It's it's a showstopper to me. I I like the length. You know, I was thinking of getting something that was a little bit longer, but this is fine. This is definitely a coat that's a little bit more dressy. I, I've worn this with like long black skirts. Like it looks fine with these leggings. I worn it with jeans. I don't love it with jeans, but that's just more because I think it's a little bit, it's a little bit of a lightweight coat where I feel like the jeans, I want something a little bit more hefty. But yeah, like I said, if this is, if I was going to a formal event, I would throw this on because it just is, it's, it's very pretty. So next is a Maj teddy bear coat. I'm obsessed with the Max Mara version of this of the teddy bear coat, but it's 3,500 and this was like, I think $600. I Like I said, I worked with the brand, so I got a really good deal on this, but it is just gorgeous. It's past the knee. 
I initially used to wear this more with like things that were very dressy, like dresses. You'll see me style with a dress, but I it, lately I've been wearing it with jeans and um, even sweats, sneakers. It looks good either way. It's because it, even though it's slouchy, it looks elevated. So you seem more sophisticated rather than just looking like sloppy, which I appreciate. I probably, I probably will get the Max Mara teddy bear coat because I'm so obsessed with it. But for now, I, I still love this one. It looks great. It's, I've had it for like three years, two years, and it's no issues, no nothing, no shedding. So next is a Whistles cocoon coat. I feel like I've had this coat for almost three years. Um, I bought it when the cocoon coat thing was like a big, big thing. Really love it. I initially, this was more to me, initially what I considered a formal coat. But um, just this last, like last month, I've worn this now with like some Jordans and some jogging pants and it's super cute. I, but initially I would always wear this like with a dress if I had to go somewhere special. But lately I've just been kind of throwing it on over like jeans. I have these Jordans that have green and pink and so this is perfect. It gives me just, um, it just gives me a good counterbalance because it's so feminine, but on, you know, with the Jordans and like I wear, I'll wear like probably pink jogging pants. It's just a gorgeous mix. So super pretty, super warm, love it. So next up is an H&M jacket. Um, I got this because I was obsessed with the Isabel Morant jacket, but I just couldn't get the one I wanted. So um, I, I tend to style this with the sleeves pulled up just because I feel like if I don't, I, I drown a little bit in it, but it's super cute. I love that it looks like, you know, a shirt and a jacket, long, but it has the, the slits on the side, which I appreciate. It's a really good coat to layer. Um, I feel like it's very pretty with a long skirt. I've worn it with these tights. I've also, like, I, I like it with jeans. I like it with, I've worn it with black boots. White boots would be gorgeous. Blue. So it's really about what you want to, what you want to do. But I feel like I own very little blue coats. And this was something I really, I really, I really appreciate it. oldest coat I own. It is a Banana Republic cashmere coat. It's definitely what I would consider just a traditional coat. I feel like I've had it, I've definitely had it for over 10 years because I bought it when I first moved to Chicago. Um, it's super warm, super lightweight. It's I would, I would consider just like a traditional banana coat. I feel like their quality is not what it used to be. Like I used, I used to own, I own a lot of older Banana Republic coats and trenches and I've tried to buy new ones and it's just, the quality is just not the same. It's like yeah, it's, it, I feel like back in the day they were really trying to emulate Burberry style and now they're just kind of, you know, they, they, the prices are the same, but the quality is not. So super pretty, super warm. It, it was, I feel like it was really expensive. It was, at the time, it was like almost $1,000 and I think I got it on sale for like four or 500 because it was the end of the season. And it's definitely like super warm for being this lightweight. I, like I said, I've, I usually wear it just for, this is more, another formal coat that I wear. I've never tried to wear it with something casual, with jeans, because I just feel like it's cashmere and I don't want to get it dirty. But I think it would look cute with jeans. It would look casual. It's, it's, it's a very versatile coat. All right, so next up is this Topshop camel coat. This is what I would consider just a really traditional camel color coat. I don't wear it as much because I find that it's a little bit plain, but if I do wear it, I tend to put this Zara faux fur topper on it to give it a little bit of oomph. Um, but it's a coat that it goes with basically anything. I, I do have color coats, but this is, you know, it's a neutral coat. Um, I like this with things that are a little bit more streamlined because it, it's a very streamlined coat. It's longer, layering, it's, it's, I think I got it in my size. If I would have wanted to layer more underneath, I would have probably needed a, a bigger size. I can wear like a, a, you know, something lightweight under it, but I can't layer it with a lot of things. But 
In terms of just attractiveness, it's a gorgeous coat. And I feel like it's definitely a coat I've had for a while. Um, I tend to tie the tie behind me just because I like that look. Sometimes I, you know, I will tie it up front, but I think this look is a little bit more flattering in terms of just for me. But yeah, love it. So we've finally reached the winter coat section. I feel like all the other coats were, I could definitely wear spring, fall, but these coats I feel like are a little bit more, are a little bit more heavy. Um, they're, and they're, I just think the colors are better suited for winter. So this is a Sam coat. It's also one of my older coats. I feel like, like 2014, 2013, everybody was wearing green Sam coats with, with the fur. And so I, I still wear this coat. It's cause it's gorgeous. It's, um, I actually had two of them. I had one that was a little bit more of a boxier cut and I ended up getting this one that is a little bit more cinched in, which I feel like is a little bit more feminine. It, I, I will wear this and walk to the grocery store because it's really cute, but it's it keeps me warm. It's it has a good insulate, so even though it's very light, it is a very warm coat. Super cute in terms of color. I feel like this green is a neutral, so I've worn it with everything from white to black. It even pairs well with colors because it is this green is um, a neutral, and because it's cinched in, in the waist, I feel like it. It, it goes with my aesthetic because I do like things that are a little bit more cinched in. The hood gives it a little bit more of a sporty flavor, but you know, I've never, I feel like I could even wear this if I was going somewhere a little bit more formal, I could do that. But it, in terms of the look, it tends to be a little bit more, what I would say, rugged. So this H&M and Kangol collaboration puffer is actually my newest coat to the collection. I got it because I, I really don't own like just a basic puffer coat and I needed something for days where I'm just like, okay, I need to, you know, it snows. <laughs> I need to shovel snow or do something that's a little bit more utilitarian. So this was perfect. It also is just a basic, I, I didn't want, so I feel like all my other coats make a statement. I wanted to have a coat that really doesn't make a statement, but is stylish. And this one definitely fits the bill. It's not the warmest coat in terms of, I do need to have layers and I feel like my other winter coats are have more insulation, but in terms of just the look for being, and the price, it was 60 bucks for what I consider a really stylish, warm puffer. So, and I tend to not really care what I have on underneath it because it does, it's past my knees, but it's the coat that if you need to stay warm, you wear it my favorite winter coat it is the Macage Trish puffer like in terms of style this thing is like a stunner <laughs> it's gorgeous it has this fur collar and hood it's I like a fitted silhouette this is definitely the coat you wear when you don't really when you just want to stay warm um, you don't really care about what you have underneath. You're probably just trying to be warm. This coat is rated for negative 25 degrees and I've worn it during the polar vortex and it definitely fits the bill. Like, um, I, what I like about it is I don't often wear gloves with it because the pockets are insulated. And so I can just put my hands in my pockets and stay warm because I'm the person that always lose my, loses my gloves. So if it's cold, super cold, I'm wearing this. It, and if, if you see me coming, you know it's me because it's it's just super stylish. And if you live in Chicago or someplace and you don't own one of these, either this or like a Canada Goose, then you're definitely struggling if you, if you have to walk outside. So I, here's another Macage winter coat that I have. It's I've had it for like a year, but I've just still never worn it. The reason I purchased it was because I thought I wanted something a little bit more uh, you know, the other Macash coat is just really showy. I wanted something that was a little bit more toned down, but I found myself always wearing the black Macash. I have never worn this one. It's gorgeous. I'm actually, I'm actually trying to sell it, but if I don't sell it this, this year, I may just start wearing it because it is gorgeous. The one thing I love about it, it's actually probably warmer than the, the black Trish, is that it's fur inside and the collar, so it's it's probably, I think it's rated to maybe uh, probably a negative 35 degrees, so no, it's, it's still 
negative, it's still negative four. So I feel like the macage may be a little bit warmer because it has, a, um, the other macage may be a little bit warmer of a coat because it has more down, where this one has down, but it also has fur. But it's a gorgeous coat. Um, something, like I said, I like it with black. I, I like these, you know, army green neutral coats because it's almost like for, I don't always want to wear black. Like I, in Chicago, everybody wears black coats. It's like a sea of black puffer coats. And when I wear coats like this, I, I stand out. Um, I don't really need much. As you can see, most of the things are covered up, but it just is like, I like a coat that makes a statement that tells you like, okay, whatever she has on, she looks good regardless. I feel like it's, even though the other macage coat look is a little bit dressier, this one, I think oh, you could also dress down, dress up, because it is such a, it's such a good quality coat. This, this one actually is more expensive than the other one. I think the other macage coat I was probably in the thousand range. This one's probably 1500. But as I said, all of my coats I've got on a discount. I feel like I don't, I think, well, I don't think I paid full price for any of these coats. And a lot of these, I think at least three of the coats are over a thousand dollars, but I was able to get them for like four hundred dollars maybe. So Alright, so thank you for checking out my coat collection. Please leave me any questions in the comments below. There's a good number of them that still are around. I know the Bacages, I think a Paris coats are still around. So I'll try to link whatever I can. But Thank you, subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you next time.